Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, if you were with us last time, we worked on our instrument panels and launch system for this thing. So we're finally getting close to the end where we can start using this and putting some different builds on this and uh, going on some missions with it. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, see, what are we doing today? Uh, I do have some, uh, some ideas for our instrument panel. Uh, we did not finish it completely. Uh, let's see in here. Uh, we got this side here. I've got some ideas for this here and a couple of our screens and a few other things. Uh, I did move the rotor blades a little bit and I added a few more weight blocks underneath here, as you can see, uh, just to try to get that balance out a little bit. It's still a little bit uneven, but I think once we start putting some, uh, some things on here, some, some extra weight, it'll start balancing itself out when we actually figure out what we can do with it. But let's uh, let's get back over here to the workbench and uh, let's get things started. But before you do, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It does help us out a whole lot. All right, we are back in the workbench here, and let's see. First things first, uh, I want to get this control panel done here. Uh, I have no way of knowing what kind of RPS we're doing on our engines. Uh, we could we could figure that out. So I've got an idea here for RPS, RPS, and then we'll do RPS total on the way out, so we know exactly what kind of kind of revolutions we're actually pushing here. So let's see. Let's get ourselves another, uh, I guess, an instrument panel controller here. Uh, let's rotate it around. Paste that down, go ahead and hook up our logic. Uh, we need to get our composite here. We need, we are? What, what happened here? Got a thing, composite, controller, and output. I'm not sure which one we need, I can't remember. Uh, so we're gonna hook up both. Uh, we're gonna need some numbers. We need data coming in here. So we need to change some things up. Come in here and edit our microcontroller. All right, so as far as the logic goes, we're gonna need four inputs and move those over like this. And these all need to be numbers. Uh, we need numbers coming in. So we just need to change this over to number. Uh, we're gonna relabel this, uh, let's see, E1 RPS, we'll do E2 RPS, then we'll do E1 RPS total, E2 RPS total. All right, and so we'll be able to get the total RPS that our gearboxes is actually showing for us. Uh, let's get in there and change this up a little bit. Here is our pieces here. We need to come up. Uh, let's space these out a little bit, figure out what we got here. Okay, so engine one RPS, and then we'll do engine two will be our composite number two on the right. Uh, then engine one will be back on our left, and then engine two. So here we go. One, two, three and four. Uh, let's hook our composite back up. Why can't I get down there? Where is it? There we go. Hook that up. Perfect. There we go. Uh, let's double check this. E1R, E2, do, 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 do. Yep. We're going to update that, update that. We are good to go there. Now let's go and find our engines, hook these up. Let's see. Somewhere in here is engine one temp. Ooh, we could do temp on the bottom. See, that's stuff we don't, I didn't think about last time. Uh, that's good though. Uh, let's see, where is RPS? RPS is gonna come into our engine one RPS, engine two RPS. Uh, now we're gonna have to get a torque meter here. Uh, and we're gonna have to find somewhere in here, read this, so here we go. This is actually gonna work right here. We've got space, uh, so we'll go here and here. We'll copy this a T piece to mirror mode. Uh, is that gonna give us enough space in there to, Hide this. I feel like I just deleted something important. Uh, is that an important block? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, so we can do that. Uh, torque meter. Where does that go? That goes right. What? Uh, is it too tall? Why does it need space around it? Interesting. Okay, so that's not going to work anyway. Um. Oh shoot. Where was I? Oh my goodness, I've lost my I've lost my position here. Where are we? Where are we? Um. In for in through the side here. Here we go. In through the sides. Uh, so let's undo all that. Oh, there was a block there. That's why I couldn't do that. All right, so that's done. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those values here. Let's see, we've got RPS engine one and RPS engine two. There we go. Nice. That should give us a overall total there. Uh, so now I'm going to need another one of these. Copy and paste that again. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we need to rechange these values here. 
we'll come into the microcontroller, edit this, come back over here. Uh, we only need two of these currently. We can get rid of those, and we're going to call this E1 temp, E2 temp. Update that. Uh, we'll leave it long like that, just in case we do find something else that we can throw there, and that should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and get temp, temp, perfect. Pause it to where it needs to be. There we go, and that should be good to go there. Let's uh, label these now that we know what we have these for. Instrument one is going to be E1 RPS. Okay, let's make this look cleaner. E1 RPS. Uh, we know that we're maxing out at 20 on these engines. Zero there. E2 RPS. Okay, zero. 20 is going to be the max there. Channel two. E1 total RPS. Uh, for the sake of this, I don't think we'll be getting up to 50, but I'll just do 50 uh, for the sake of the math here. We do have enough room. E4 total RPS. We'll do the same thing here, zero and 50, and we'll put that on channel four. All right, so now let's come down here. We know that this was our E1 temp. One temp, zero. Uh, I hope it doesn't go over 100, uh, but we'll do 150, and that's good. And we'll do the same thing here, E2 temp, 0, 150, and this needs to be channel 2. Uh, so we'll make sure that these say none for now. Clean this, clean up the uh, dashboard here. None and none. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Uh, so now we've got our engine stats here. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's move on. Uh, we need to hide these somewhere, and I think I know where I can put them. Let's go ahead and move those. Grab one at least. Let's see. Grab you. Go ahead and cut him. Move him to this side here. And I think we had one tucked away in here somewhere, so we'll back him up right behind him. Where was that? It was right there. Ooh, that's going to be exposed here. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's the one. Go in. We can go in. Is that all of it? That'll be all of it. Paste. Pretty sure we did not ruin anything there, so hopefully we're good. We'll find out here in a minute when we try to crank things. Uh, let's come grab the other one here. Cut it. There's the one that hopefully is good to go. Let's paste and merge. All right, let's go crank this up before we start doing too much else to it and see if that has worked uh, or if we've broken anything. All right. Power pumps that we don't have yet. Uh, that's another another thing. Uh, let's get this started. Perfect. Look at this. All right, we've got our total RPS is 20. 20. Do we not have any gearbox going? Oh, 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 oh. We've only got one gearbox. Wait, what? How did that end up way out there? Did I just duplicate it? I think I just duplicated it. That's all. Oh, yeah, because of mirror mode. Okay, that, that's fine. Uh, anyway, back to this. Because I put these on the side of this, we're actually going to need one of these. Hmm. Here's how I can fix this uh, so we can get uh, input for both of these. There's no reason to have two gearboxes like this, but it'll help our instrument panel. Uh, can we get in here? Do that on both sides. Have ourselves a gearbox here. Flip that over. What do we have here gear wise? Two to one. Okay. Uh, nope. I want to get rid of this. Get rid of this. Right there. All right. So we got a solid pipe now in its place. Let's paint that. Go. That. Okay. These need to be two to one. Two to one. Two to one. And we should see that value now on our dash. All right, so 20 RPS and yep, about 40, 40 total RPS because we have a two one. So we're just doubling our value there. Everything still works. Everything still works. That's awesome. Everything still works. Landing gear still works. Landing gear still works. Clutch still works. Okay, cool. Back to the, sh back to the desk. Uh, let's see. So that's done. Let's get in here and uh, let's see. I wanted navigation and radar on this. Uh, we can go and do like we did last time. We're going to grab Zizo's microcontrollers and we're going to slap those in uh if you want to see how to really hook those up uh you can watch my last build uh there's a whole segment on that i do a little more detailed hookups i'm just going to hook these things up get them in here and then we're going to move on to the next thing so we can we can really get through this build all right guys i'm having to add a few more things here i've had to add a buzzer for the radar and i'm having to add a gps up top here uh we've added a gps we've added a 
compass sensor in here as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to put a keypad in here too for our actual GPS and navigation stuff. So I figured I'd start, you know, showing you guys some of that. We're gonna grab a keypad. Uh, we're gonna stick it right there. Uh, let's pick a good color here. Let's actually pick the color of the ship. Uh, so we'll plug that in right there. It was mirror mode on. No, it was not. That's good. All right. So let's go ahead and fix that. Paint that like that, that like that. And the outside can be like that. Okay. So that's going to be our waypoint. Uh, so I need to plug that in uh, to our navigation microcontroller and hook up the rest of the things. And this stuff should work. And I'll leave a link to these things down in the bottom uh, in the uh, description section. And you guys want you can go back and check out the other video on how i've hooked them up uh it's just it's taken a while it's it's literally a few minutes and it's just not worth showing you over again uh and wasting your guys time uh so yeah i want to get back to doing that uh, i just had to add a few more things so i figured i'd show you what i had done and then uh, i'm gonna hook this back up again all right i've got all these things hooked up let's uh let's double check make sure these things come on and they look correct all right radar is functioning nice it is turning up there we are good to go uh, sonar, we should have sonar. It's hooked up as well. Yep, we can see it just slightly underneath us. Cool. All right, those things are working. Uh, we've got waypoints. Uh, let's try and put in our. Yep, we'll just go. We'll just go to home base here. Uh, is that working? Uh, I've not connected something right here. Let me double check here and see about this navigation here. Uh, a few things weren't connected to power. Let's see if that was it. Otherwise, I got some debugging to do. Uh, da, da, let's see waypoint one uh that should be taking us back to yep uh beginner base that's exactly where it's uh it's headed so navigation is working let's take this thing for a flight and actually see if it'll fly us there how about that all right let's get up out of here landing gears clutch we can go ahead and get up in the air uh let's go ahead and hit that waypoint and auto drive us look at that perfect all right, so we have auto nav. That's that works pretty well. Uh, that's taken care of. All right, let's get back in there. All right, that took way longer than I wanted it to. Uh, the whole purpose of this video was to do a refuel and recharge. Uh, so I wanted to get in here and find out where our hard points are. And actually, where are these guys at? Um, oh no, is it on this side? Have I made a boo boo? I have made a boo boo. Uh, let's see if we can make this work. Uh, we need to get fuel here. Actually, no, we just need to get fuel into here. Uh, so what's this? Uh, let's say delete you. Okay, what are you? You're back. Nothing. Okay, we can come in here. Oh, are we going to collide with this, though? Ooh, we might collide with that. Uh, so we might need to say do that. Does that give us any room to work? No. Um, can we come down into there? Here. Perfect. That's done it. Okay, so now I need some pipes. Uh, I need to come up here here and we need to get to the front of this and i have not done any of this on mirror mode all right so we'll, we'll come over here and do it on this side then all right so mirror do that there there probably all of that how did i do here oh, i'm just making a mess now okay uh let's come across here i believe that's the same yep over to the 13 perfect and then down one right I think that has us even there. Let's grab ourselves some pipes, you know, some closed pipes. Uh, we'll do an angled one here. This will be, let's make sure it's the right way. Yep, angled one here. This will be the pipe that goes inside and actually gets fuel from our pylons here. Let's see, that one can go there, that one can go there. Get all our angles in here and then do our straight pieces. That can go there. Man, we're, we're breezing through this, perfect. Uh, let's see. I can go there, go there. I think that one there, and that should be all of those. Let's see, straight piece, straight piece, straight piece, straight piece, straight piece, straight piece. All right, let's double check our other side here, see if we're all closed in. Nope, for some reason we didn't get one here. All right, so we're good to go there. Why does that look wrong? I don't think I deleted it on this side enough to give us that piece. Okay, so there, now we need a fluid port, fluid. Where is that at? We'll come in here. Okay, perfect. So now we have a way for fuel to, I don't know where it is. We do have a way. There we go. We have a way for fuel to get in here. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, let's get a pump on this. First of all, we need to get 
here. So let's get some more of these. Uh, we need T pieces. We have T pieces. We have T pieces. Uh, T, 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 a T, a T, and an angled here. All right, now if we have anything hooked up here fuel-wise from any of these, we can get it to our fuel tank. Uh, the problem we're having here now is that we need a pump to actually pull those. Uh, let me put this down here real quick, double check which one's out. This side is out. Uh, so we're basically gonna end up, the only spot we could put it would be like right there. Just in there like that. Uh, or we do it vertically right there. Um, Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's move it. Let's move this piece. Uh, we'll do you like that. We're gonna have to see it no matter what. So we might as well make it look nice. That like that. That. I think we're gonna delete you. And that like that. And that like that. All right. So let's get a piece right there, and then grab our pump, place it in. Uh, might struggle with this, but that's where it's gonna go for now. Yeah, that's where it's going to go for now. It's got to. I mean, we've got no choice. Uh, so we had a switch for that on our microcontroller, didn't we? Uh, from this guy here. So where did he come from? He is right here. One was gyro, starter, main, and pumps. Now we've got pumps. Let's go pump, pumps. We can turn those on if we needed. Uh, let's get some power onto those. Power to the pumps, and now that's done like that. We could actually come in here and do an offshoot from one of these. Let's do this. Let's come over here. Um, I can hate this. Um, got to be done. Let's get rid of this right here, and then I'm gonna grab a hose. Turn off mirror mode. Come on, come on. Do that, and then so we can actually see it and maybe know that it's there. Do a little angle like that. Then I've got to come off of here somehow and make this a fluid port. Uh, so we'll do this, this, grab ourselves a T because we've got to change this. Whoops. That'll go like that. We'll get ourselves another angled one. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Do that. Uh, we'll get this. Delete that. So then that's kind of tucked away behind that, and that's all right. And then we can refuel using that. What color is that back there? Or do we just bust through the wall? We'd not bust through the wall. Paint all that, the side color here. Make sure it just kind of blends in nice. Eat. All right. Uh, we should be able to get a hose onto that. Uh, let's come over here to our other side. I'm going to do this. Do that. Uh, let's see. We need cable. Do that there. And then we'll come in here and we'll do this. Get a block behind there. I can get a block behind there. That makes that nice and snug in there. Uh, let's paint that. Nice. Uh, all painted. Perfect. Uh, let's hook that up uh, straight to our batteries. There we go. So now we can recharge. Uh, we can refuel. Uh, we can carry extra fuel if we need to. Okay. Uh, so we can carry extra fuel if we need to. This is not a problem. We can fix this. Uh, we'll just go like this. Like that. Maybe. Maybe. If it'll actually work with me today. We go. No, not like that. Not like that. Let's try this again, grab the right piece, rotate it. There we go, that worked a lot better. Uh, let's paint this back to our gray, perfect. Uh, does the underside need to be gray? Underside needs to be gray, paint gray, there we go. Look at that, look at that, perfect, you guys. Uh, that's actually working really nice. Let's paint that, all that's looking good, all that's working. Okay, so again, we've got refueling, recharging. Uh, we can refuel from outside here if we had pylons on this. Uh, we've got quite a bit of fuel, we've got Navigation, radar, a lot of our equipment is hooked up. We've still got two little spots here if we need it. Gosh, man, we've got we've, we've got a ton of stuff here. Uh, we do need to add some equipment. Uh, we need to add our lights. Uh, what else do we need? I need generators, heaters, a uh, couple things. Uh, there's, a, there's a list here I've got going. Uh, but we'll add that in the next episode, guys. I've already stretched it out along on this one. Uh, but guys, if you have made it to the end, uh, thank you so much for coming this far with me. Um, appreciate it. Uh, let's, uh, let's throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and let's see, we'll see you in the next one.